Today we lost one of the greatest dancers of all time, Steven Twitch Boss. And I just wanna remind everyone that reach out to the ones that you love and don't take anyone for granted. Happy, kind, light, loving, great. These are just some of the words that have been used to describe Twitch after his sudden death. But conspiracy theories are already starting to make rounds saying there's no way Twitch could do something like this. And the note he left at the motel is adding even more fuel to these theories. Look, I am personally not trying to downplay the severity of mental health issues, especially when it comes to men, and more specifically black men. I'm just saying that people are talking and conspiracy theories are already flying on social media like crazy. For instance, for someone to post this on Twitter. So, like many, many other celebrities at Twitch dies on the 13th of December by suicide and this doesn't seem peculiar to anyone? Nah, I'm not buying that. Call me a conspiracy theorist all you want. That don't sit right in my soul. And another person responded by saying, I knew it wasn't just me. When a celebrity death doesn't sit right in my soul, I already know. I read the story too on things leading up to his death and it just doesn't sit right. Something is off. They always these celebrities and label it not buying it. Apparently the math is not mathing, but is there any shred of truth to all the conspiracy theories making the rounds? So the official report of what happened was that Twitch checked into the Oak Tree Inn on Monday the 12th and was supposed to check out the following day at 11 a.m. When he didn't check out, a hotel keeper went to knock on his door and that's when they discovered his lifeless body. A guest who was also at the hotel confirmed the news saying, 15 they went and checked and then knocked on the door. She didn't really see him, but she knows the body and that's it. And then she came out, she was freaked out. County officials confirmed that Twitch died of a self-inflicted gunshot and the case is now closed per the Los Angeles County Medical Examiner Coroner. But apparently a lot of people aren't buying into the narrative that Twitch took his own life. Well, conspiracy theories were saying that we should follow the wife for the truth about what happened to Twitch, which is also weird to a lot of people considering they always look like a perfectly happy couple. I bring her coffee in bed every, every morning. That's kind of like, that's one of my, I, I think to me, like a, something that, um, it's like my, my first act of love for the day. She don't necessarily have to get out of the bed to come get her coffee. I'll just come, I'll come bring it to her and just kind of kiss her softly and wake her up. You know what I'm saying? Twitch and Allison Hoker actually first connected in 2010 when they appeared on All Stars of season seven of So You Think You Can Dance, but they didn't actually hit it off until the season rap party. We shared a dance at the rap party of that season of So You Think You Can Dance, and we have been together ever since. Like, there was like no dialogue, yeah. there was no like conversation conversation or like a first hangout. Literally we danced and we were together, like holding hands the very next day. And in June 2013, Twitch surprised Allison by getting down on one knee and proposing while they were filming a commercial. And all the things I've done, you're easily my greatest inspiration. And I would be honored if I um, if I could spin, if I could spin the rest of my life with you. So, Allison Hopper, will you marry me? Well, as soon as the news of the death went live, Allison said in a statement, Stephen lit up every room he walked into. He valued family, friends, and community above all else. And leading with love and light was everything to him. He was the backbone of our family the best husband and father and an inspiration to his fans. To say he left a legacy would be an understatement and his positive impact will continue to be felt. I am certain there won't be a day that goes by that we don't honor his memory. Allison then closed her statement by sharing a message for her husband. Steven, we love you, we miss you, and I will always save the last dance for you. So according to conspiracy theorists, the fact that Allison released a statement as soon as the news went public was quite sus. Others also speculated that there were things happening behind the scenes in their marriage, even though it seemed perfect on social media. Some followers also said that the wife had nothing to do with it, but given Twitch's recent activity, activities, they were still having a hard time believing that he just unalived himself. Like on December 10th, Twitch celebrated his ninth anniversary with Allison, sharing throwback images from their wedding and writing, happy anniversary my love, at Allison Hoker, hashtag nine years. 
Allison also shared a reel on Instagram in honor of their anniversary, writing, It's our ninth anniversary. I couldn't be more grateful to celebrate this perfect, magical day. Literally just in November, they were talking about having another kid. Oh my God, do you miss having a newborn in the house? I sure do. Uh-oh. I think uh, I think we'd love to start trying for another one. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 no, um, no, but we really do. We, uh, I mean, I, I love the little babies. I, lo I love them. And um, to be quite, yeah, it's, it's a constant conversation. Oh. Again, this just looks really weird. And the next person on that conspiracy theory list was Ellen DeGeneres. Do that. Um, over a decade ago, I met someone who changed my life and, and our show. And I'm talking about you, Twitch. Come here. So Twitch started DJing on Ellen's show in 2014 and was with her until the show ended in May 2022. And if there is one person Ellen's always showed love for on the show, it was Twitch. He actually became an executive producer on the show in 2020. Something you would like to say to Twitch? Like, what has he meant to you? Um... Well, I don't want to say goodbye. Ellen wrote alongside a photo embracing Twitch, I'm heartbroken, Twitch was pure love and light. He was my family and I loved him with all my heart. I will miss him. Please send your love and support to Allison and his beautiful children, Wesley, Maddox, and Zaya. But why are people saying that Ellen is also a bit sus? Well, for starters, Twitch is apparently not the only person close to Ellen to have died recently. Remember Anne Heche? Her death was clouded with a lot of conspiracy theories. And when it comes to Twitch, people said he possibly knew too much about Ellen. One theory that was making the rounds was that Twitch was planning on exposing Ellen and she organized this to make it look like he took his own life. And a few days after his passing, the police revealed that they did indeed find a note at the scene of the incident. According to the police, the note revealed that the reason he did it was because of the past challenges he faced. However, what those challenges were is still unclear. Reacting to this, one person wrote, I want to see that letter. Why, why was he not thinking about his wife and kids? This odd not adding up at all. They better investigate on that handwriting and make sure he wrote that note. As joyful as he was, it's hard to believe that he would do such a thing. And then there were many others that were saying that this is one of the Hollywood sacrifices that Kanye has been exposing. Someone said, Twitch was an Illuminati satanic ritual sacrifice. Working with Ella DeGeneres on her show? Remember Wayfair? Please connect the circumstantial dots of evidence. Okay, people, conspiracy theories aside, it's also possible that Twitch was just silently battling his demons. Believe me when I tell you, it's perfectly reasonable that a black man who appeared happy and seemed to have everything to live for could have been desperately hurting inside. And celebrities who were also equally shocked by the news also poured out their tribute. Michelle Obama paid her tribute by writing, I was heartbroken to learn about the passing of Stephen Twitch Boss, who I got to know over the years through my Let's Move initiative and visits to The Ellen Show. My heart goes out to his wife, Allison, and his three children during this difficult time. Viola Davis also chimed in, I'm at a loss for words right now, praying for his family and loved ones. And Jada Pinkett wrote, I woke up this morning to the news that Twitch is gone. My heart aches for his wife Allison and their children Wesley, Maddox, and Zaya. My condolences to all his loved ones that he left behind. So many people suffer in silence. I wish he could have known he didn't have to. In addition, Channing Tatum also shared a tribute along with a shirtless photo of himself and Twitch. I have no words, there aren't any. My head or heart cannot understand this. There is just so much, I don't know where to begin. I love you, I'll see you again, my friend, until then. Honestly, if I go through all the tributes, it will take forever because anyone who encountered Twitch just had the most beautiful things to say about him. But do you think there's any truth to those conspiracy theories? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below.